If you're a Spoonflower artist like me, you've probably been seeing a lot of emails from Spoonflower lately about all kinds of exciting changes they're making in 2024. Spoonflower is now going to have design challenges every other week instead of weekly. And they've made a lot of color improvements for 2024 also. Perhaps the biggest change, though, that Spoonflower has made for 2024 is they've eliminated the need to order proofs and wait for them to come in the mail so that you can make your designs for sale on Spoonflower. Now, they are enacting weekly listing limits, a maximum of 25 made-for-sale designs per artist per week, but you don't have to pay to order proofs anymore if you want to sell your art on Spoonflower. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the new process and show you how it works to digitally proof your designs on Spoonflower. You're still going to upload your designs to the Spoonflower website as usual. Now, you used to have to check a box at the bottom to make your design publicly viewable. And um, prior to 2024, you had to order physical proofs in order to make your products uh, for sale on Spoonflower. And now in 2024, Spoonflower has made some really exciting changes. So if you have physically already ordered a proof for one of your designs and you've received the proof in the mail, this section here on the bottom looks different now. So now you have the option to just activate uh, your products on fabric or wallpaper, your designs, and you get this little note here that says your design has been proofed. So uh, that's kind of nice. And then I want to show you the big new exciting change for 2024. I'm going to go to one of my designs that has never had a physical proof ordered for it um, ever. And I'm just going to the design and I'm on the design edit page. And now you're going to see at the bottom of the page here on the bottom right, it says sell. And then it says proofing is required to sell. Um, but instead of the physical proofing that you used to have to do, now you can do what's called a digital proof. So you can actually look at your pattern on the computer and say, yes, that looks good and make it for sale, which is so awesome. So now you don't have to spend the money and wait for the mail. So let me show you guys how this new tool works. It's really simple. There will be a proof design button down here. Now that's again, if you haven't already physically proofed something. You just upload a new design and you haven't ever ordered a physical proof, never fear. Just click on this proof design button. And what that will do is then open up a new image here. But what it did is it just basically opened a digital proof and it's even giving us this helpful little tip here. It says proofing. It says your repeatable design is outlined in pink. At start, the design will zoom to the top left corner. And um, if you can kind of see this, it's a little hard to see, but do you guys see this pink box here? So that is my seamless pattern swatch. And then I can kind of see now Okay, so that's the, the end of my pattern right there, and it, it does repeat uh, perfectly. It does seem to repeat. I'm going to click on the Start button, and what it's doing is it's actually going to walk us through the process of uh, proofing a design, and we're going to do it digitally. And it's great because they're going to give us all these little tips. So it says click and drag, click and drag to investigate the edges of your repeatable design looking for common design flaws and you can click on that and learn more show hide the pink outline via the outline button and then scroll or use zoom buttons to change the zoom level and you can get rid of these tips if you want um, but it's kind of nice that they do give this to you in the beginning so let's click ok ready and uh, let's do this so if i zoom out so this is like way 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 zoomed in and this is a design that I added a texture to. So it, it's a design that I created as a vector, but then I added this like seamless texture, texture to the top of it. And if you look down here on the bottom right where this little pink 
boxes, you can turn on and off the edges of your seamless uh, pattern uh, block. And of course, these little plus and minus buttons are for zooming in and out. And then you can show and hide the pink line to show and hide the edges of your seamless pattern block. And you can just use your mouse to hold down and pull around and look at your digital proof and see if you like it. So that's how you proof. If everything looks good, you can just click on looks good here. Now, if you see an issue, let's see what happens when we click on that. So a common issue you will probably see, and this happens to everybody, it happened to me a million times, is you might notice that you are not, uh, your pattern is not repeating seamlessly. It jumps or it's weird or something. So then they're giving us some tips here. To close proofing, correct your file in the preferred design application, re-upload, reopen proofing. So um, anyway, I'm not going to leave and make corrections right now. I'm going to keep looking. But you can just, if you click on that box there, it'll take you out of the proofing process and then it'll let you re-upload your revision. Check out my Skillshare profile to see all of my classes. The link is in the description below. My class on quick and easy half drop repeat patterns will show you how to ensure that your patterns repeat seamlessly every time and it will help you avoid hairlines. And of course, check out my Spoonflower Success Secrets Skillshare class as well, because I go in depth about all kinds of tips and tricks for uh, helping you with making sales on Spoonflower and just succeeding on that platform. This looks good to me, so I'm just going to click on looks good here. And now that you've done your digital proof on the Spoonflower website, you can make your design for sale because it has now been proofed. All you have to do is check the box for fabric if you want to make your art available on fabric as a repeat pattern and check the box for wallpaper and that's it. If you want to learn a whole lot more about how to design and create patterns and how to succeed on Spoonflower, plus how to find your signature design style and how to use mock-ups to sell your art, please check out my Skillshare profile. The link is in the description below and you can see all of my classes. Thanks for joining me and happy creating.